The entire last year could have been extremely stressful for you if you only relied on one single income source. In this video, I will explain to you why I remained calm and relaxed and kind of I was a little bit excited too when I saw that everything turned into a bear market. But before I dive into this video, I have to say something. If you look on YouTube right now, all the non-financial videos that you see out there have one thing in common. They spread fear. Be it in the crypto market or the stock market, it doesn't matter. People use fear, uncertainty and doubt just to gain more viewership and to satisfy the YouTube algorithm. And I can't blame them. I became a victim myself, but I'm here to make amends. I am not scared about anything right now in this situation where it looks like the stock market is about to fall into a bear market or the crypto market dropped 40%. This is actually very exciting and I wanna to explain to you why. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I wanna to explain to you why I was so calm during all these events because I have multiple sources of income which basically balance each other out. So if one leg falls off, I can still stand very stable and I don't have to worry about anything. So why is it important to have more than one income stream? I think it's very self-explanatory, but just let's, let's take COVID-19 as an example. If you rely on the money that you generate from your regular job, you live a very risky life. I just want you to know that. According to various studies, over 25 million people in the US lost their jobs in 2020 due to COVID-19. So if a virus can take away your main income source and then you're left with nothing, that's pretty scary. All right, I understand COVID-19 is, you know, doesn't happen every year. It's not like something that happens all the time. It happened once and hopefully that's it. But you never know, maybe there's another strain in the future and then the same thing happens again. But let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's just imagine you hold all of your money within Bitcoin or cryptocurrency in general. And then there's a, a crash, a correction of like 40, 50% and you have all your money in there. And then all of a sudden your car breaks down and you just need whatever, $1,500 to repair the car. Then you have to sell at a loss just to repair your car. Another example is you have all the money in the stock market. And then on top of that, you just, you know, have like the growth companies in there like Tesla. And then Tesla drops from 800 down to 500. What do you do then? If you need money real fast, you have to sell at a loss. So I think you get the point. Now, I'm not saying that I know everything and I'm the best investor in the world. In fact, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. To Klopf von König. In this video, I simply want to explain why I can remain calm during times like this. Let's just jump right into all the different sources of income that I have. Um, by the way, these are not in like a very specific order. I just wrote them down and that's what came to mind. So no specific order. You will see that I love passive income, even though it wasn't so passive to build the portfolio. But here we go. So this is me. Yeah, that's what I look like when I'm not filming a video. One of my income sources is real estate. I started investing in real estate when I turned 22 in Austria. And the feeling, the, the feeling that I had when I first received my first rental payment was insane. I felt like a real estate mogul and I knew I want to buy more. By the way, we're talking about 350 euros a month. So that's a, a very small apartment. It's a very small payment, but it was passive. I didn't have to work for that. I was hooked. Now let's put that into perspective. The first rental property that I bought was about 90,000 euros, including all the fees and agents and lawyers. It produced, it generated 350 euros a month, which signifies más o menos uh, 5% a year. So that was quite cool. I was like, okay, cool. Now I'm getting 5% return on my $90,000. And on top of that, if I want to sell in the future, hopefully it will have a capital gain as well because the apartment appreciates in value. So for the past 11 years, I've been receiving 350 euros a month and I still do. Um, and on top of that, my apartment is now worth 40% more. So whenever I decide to sell this apartment, I know that I made 5% every single year on the 90,000. And on top of that, now it's even worth more. Now, if I wanna sell it, I have a capital gain of 40%. So this was just an example. Within this source of income, I also diversify as much as I can because I wanna be safe. I wanna stand very solid. I wanna, I don't wanna just have one single, you know, source of income, which signifies a leg. And then if that's gone, I fall over and I'm on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to be on the ground. So within that real estate, I have smaller apartments, bigger apartments. I have just land that I rent out. I have warehouses. So 
I spread as far as I can. All of these properties generate rental payments every single month. So even if one tenant wants to move out, I still have other properties that basically generate income until I find somebody new for the new apartment. So real estate is something I truly love because I just realized at an early age that if I invest into more properties, I can generate more income, which allows me to invest in even bigger projects to, you know, to a point where I can just, it's like a snowball effect. I buy more, 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 and I never use any of that money. I just reinvest it and I just build a portfolio that's so huge that I can sleep in for three weeks and not do anything. By the way, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Another source of income is the stock market. Within the stock market, I have different portfolios. I have a growth portfolio, a dividend portfolio. I have ETFs, I have bonds, I have... I mean, that's not the stock market, but I have a high savings, uh, high, high interest savings account. Um, I sell options. So there's multiple ways to make money within the stock market. And I just don't put 100% on one company or into one field. I want to make sure that I spread again into growth stocks. So if they have a you know massive run like in 2020, I'm part of this. But I also have some money in dividend paying stocks that pay me every month. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter what the market is doing, but you get the idea like those boring companies pay dividends, but they don't see like a thousand percent gain within a year. But that's totally fine because I want to diversify. On top of that, I want to make use of the shares that I have. So I sell options on the shares that I own every week every month and my idea behind it is I don't want to just hold the stock. I want to make money. I want to generate more money with me holding the stock. So sometimes my options look ridiculous because I sell options on the stock that I really love, but it's so far out of the money because I am not willing to sell my shares. I just want to generate more income so I can reinvest the premium that I receive into that stock that I love. So now basically the stock is paying me to buy more. And that's why I love options trading. So, so my money in the stock market is basically generating income for me under my supervision it's it's i don't want to say it's passive because it's definitely not because you still have to be up to date with the market you need to know what's happening for example at&t cutting their dividends by 50 percent it's not really a, a sexy move at&t but <clears throat> you have to adjust so the part that actually takes more time is selling options, but the dividend portfolio is basically running itself. The growth portfolio is running itself. I just want to make sure that my money that I worked for is now working for me. So the next source of income is the crypto market. You guys are well aware that I love cryptocurrency. I've been talking about it for the past 10 videos. And um, I showed you guys that I have a long term portfolio of Bitcoin that I don't touch. I'm not trying to sell. So right now it's a great time for me to purchase even more. Like I just want to accumulate more. But yeah, I will hold my Bitcoin. I don't want to like promise something, but for at least, I think for at least two, three years. Um, and I know there will be some ups, massive ups, massive downs, but I just don't care about that money right now because I truly believe in Bitcoin and long term, I think this will set me up for life. And while we are going there, this is one part. I have money invested in Bitcoin and now you could be like, yeah, but if you don't sell, you have, let's just make up numbers, 200,000 right now and tomorrow it's down at 100,000 and then 150,000, 90,000, 300,000, 400, you know, it just goes up and down. This was a bad, weird move. How can you make money off of Bitcoin if you just hold it? There are different ways to generate generate income from holding cryptocurrency. You can stake it. You can just like lock it up. You can freeze it. And then you generate income from different platforms such as BlockFi or Nexo. It depends if you're like in the US or if you um, if you're in Europe or like outside of the US. So these companies pay you interest on your crypto holdings and then you just let it, you know, let it grow in there. And then you can even use the money that they pay you and like buy more. This is one thing that I have. I own cryptocurrency in my long-term portfolio, which currently generates interest, 7.5% 7, 7 interest a year. Besides the long-term portfolio, I also have um, a small day trading account where I just day trade cryptocurrency because I just started learning to understand charts. Um, probably like 2%, I, I understand them 2%, 3%, but I was able to quadruple my money within a couple months. I think it was five, six months, 4X my $10,000, which are now worth $40,000. 
And it's just, this is more of a fun project and a passion for me rather than a, an investment strategy. So this also generates income, which I don't touch. So I just leave it in there and you know use it to make more. Social media. So besides the AdSense that I received from you watching this video, Thank you. Social media offers a lot of different ways to make money online. By sharing what you love and creating content on social media, there are so many different ways to generate income or create money online. It's it's insane. You can make money on so many different platforms now with AdSense, with tips, with memberships, with selling your products, like workout plans, memberships, merchandise, sponsorships, brand deals. The list goes on and on and on. And I generate income from most of them besides clothing because I don't offer clothes. Social media, by the way, is my most active income source. For, for social media, I have to actively work every single day and put a lot of time and effort into producing content, into editing, into coming up with ideas. Um, this is the most time consuming income source that I have. But now you already see if I get sick, God forbid, if I get sick and I, I can't, you know, work for like a week or two and I only had social media, it would be hard to produce content and produce videos like this. So even if I got sick, I still know in the back of my head, I have the stock market paying me money. I can sell my options still, even if, if I'm in bed. <laughs> um, I have the crypto market if it's not tanking right now, but I still get my interest. I have my real estate. People still pay rent because they have to live in the apartments. So I still make money while not working. So that's why it's so important for me to have different sources of income because I know one alone, social media as of right now, is my most active one. And yeah, I just want to be safe. And last but not least, I have my website Body by Bottle. You could now say, okay, this is part of social media. I treat it separately. So it's not really social media because it's kind of just the website by itself. So on my website, I sell all different kinds of workout plans, but also a membership where people can join my exclusive discord server where we just talk about all the different things, motivation, how to get, you know, in shape. Um, we do workouts as well. So it's basically, you don't get personal training one-on-one, -on -one, but it's, we're a group of people. And then, you know, most of us have the same questions when it comes to fitness. And then if we are like 15, 20, 30 people within the discord and one person asks one question, maybe five other people need the answer to that as well. So that's what we do. We um, share our progress within the Discord server. But again, this is just, just like a, a plug for my website. If you want to become a member, do it now. <laughs> But yeah, so bodybybottle.com is a different income source as well. I also run ads on my website. So all the banners that you see are sponsorships and ads that are paid for. As of lately, I've also seen in my inbox, a lot of people wanted to buy a place in my blog. So they want to write something about the topic they're passionate about to be on my blog, on my website. This could be a potential, you know, additional uh, revenue, but right now I don't want to share my website with different thoughts. So if the article is good, I might consider it, but right now I don't have time to actually read through every single article that's coming in. So what I'm trying to say is there are so many different ways and opportunities and options out there. You don't have to just settle for one. So when you look at all those sources of income, you see that each leg has sub legs that stand for themselves. So even if one or two of the sub legs collapse, I am still financially stable where I don't have to like sell my car or whatever to just pay my bills. So in order for me to financially fall, a lot has to happen. A lot of my legs need to collapse at the same time, which is highly unrealistic. It's not impossible, but highly unrealistic. Now, when you don't have that many sources of income, it could be a little bit overwhelming looking at this and realizing, oh shit, I just have one job and this is scary now. I don't wanna scare you. Just remember when I first started, I had nothing. I had none of these. Like I, I, I didn't have social media. I didn't have my stock portfolio. I didn't have cryptocurrency. I had my main source of income and then I invested into real estate and then I fell in love with it and I bought more and more and more. And as soon as this leg produced or generated a solid amount of income, I was able to then move this money into the next column, the stock market. And then from there, I was like, more risky. I was like, okay, cool. Now I generate income. Now let's just put some money into cryptocurrency. If I lose it, whatever. So what I'm trying to say is I didn't put all my money that I had that I worked for into cryptocurrency and just like hoped for the best. I invested into something that I knew and understood this will generate income for a long term. So if you're just getting started and you rely on one income source, 
that's totally fine. Just make sure that you make as much money as you can. Save as much money as you can. Don't spend that money. Just reinvest that money into whatever you want. Just create a second stream of income. That could be real estate, that could be stock market, that could be cryptocurrency, that could be your own social media platform, start your YouTube channel, like whatever it is, invest in yourself. Make sure that you have different sources of income, which basically snowball at a, you know, at, at some point and then you feel financially stable. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out with the YouTube algorithm, you know, feed it with a comment, a like and a subscribe and maybe even put the notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. You're the absolute best, you know that? I'm almost done. I love you. <laughs>